Hey there, Tom. Sorry about this. I had it in my head. Tom's working on running on faith. He's got it. Of course, we did this part, and it is rather syncopated when I'm listening to it. So hopefully you've been able to use it as one of your training exercise, uh, counting your way through it. Um, but how about we go ahead and give you a video? I think that's a wonderful idea. That sounds like a good standard process, actually. Uh, good idea. I'm into it. All right, so left-hand overview-wise, we've got B7, uh, but you already worked on quite a bit. Gets played a ton because there's no good first position B, lots of E, A, B7 songs. Then we see both transitions of boom, 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 and dum, 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 third fret, second fret, open, on the bass strings. Uh, C to A minor going. C with B in the bass. A minor, paralleled by going like that, from G to D over F sharp with our thumb, and D minor. Cool. So, chord structure, we're going to be going, uh, and then we're going to be going. through the chord grips on their own. There they are. Let me go section by section here. Okay, C. All right. Boom, doom, doom, doo, doom, There's us. which gets us to our B7, so you'll probably have hopped off on the last one. So there it was. And our B7. Yeah, so we go... Dum we tune because we care. Yeah, man. So there it was. Um, rather. Cool. So almost just down, up, down. So there's our first two chords, whatever it was. So now for our E minor G. So we've got. Down and up, down, up, down, up, down, and up, down, up, down, up. And now we're about to do our hits. First on C. Uh, that's what the band does, but we're just going to strum through. So, C, B, M, and M was um, the thing I just said. We're good. Let's get on to Alright, so one to take each and every day. We're gonna be going. So yeah, during that we're just going. Once again that one. Yeah, so So that's what happens during the hits. And then an interesting change is to A from there. So we get a whole bunch of down notes. And if I'm playing A like this, I suggest you do it this way. But yeah, we get a whole. Before the trickiest part. That's coming up. So that was mostly just down, down up. So we went. If I remember correctly, we'll be sure.
Yeah. So, so the trickiest part is from the so. Tricky bit for found of the. Give another listen here. Yeah. And it's interesting that we get the D, the C before the band gets to C. Where. And then for our D, or is it just D7? So, there we go. So there we go, uh, that's us from... There might have been one or two strums wrong there, but I'm sure doing section by section that was right um i could take a crack the whole thing but i think you should be good with that let me know if you're not and uh this is a really good ear training exercise it's also a good time to sonically interact with what the band is doing you know the role of the acoustic guitar in this combo where like we talked about in the lesson it's, it's driving the rhythm so much yeah, it's really the only melody rhythm instrument, uh, as opposed to the bass and the drums who are in the rhythm section of melody instrument, like a horn, guitar, piano, any of that stuff. So accordingly, even during the hits, we're strumming on through. It's like you're playing a shaker, like a tuned shaker. So a lot of the time we were just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's interesting uh, that despite the rhythm being really syncopated, with what the bassist and the piano player are doing and the drummer, we just strum through pretty much because we have to drive the rhythm in that capacity. All right, man, I will see you soon. And here it is. That's another thing. But while we're on the subject, this. Cheers. <laughs>